Hey everyone, I'm Chloe Coscarelli and I'm working with some new cool YouTube channels to put together a playlist of the ultimate Thanksgiving pies to make your holiday a little bit easier and sweeter. I chose this apple pie because it's so easy to make and we all know on Thanksgiving you need a good recipe that's foolproof and that you can count on. So it's only got five ingredients, apples, sugar, flour, cinnamon, and store-bought pie crust, which is my little secret. And it's vegan, so everyone at the holiday table can enjoy. I'm gonna start with my apples. So the big question with apple pie is what's the best kind of apple to use? So my answer is just go to the grocery store or the farmer's market and walk down the aisle and pick up one apple of each kind. That way you'll have a nice blend of sweet and tart, uh, crunchy and soft, and it'll really all come together. So no need to stress about finding the perfect type of apple to use for apple pie, just use all of them. Sometimes if I'm feeling lazy, I won't peel the apple, and that's totally fine. So it's completely up to you what you have time for. So I'm just gonna cut it into quarters. So cut your apples really thin, that way they'll cook through and they'll be nice and tender in your pie. So if you just toss your apples with a little bit of lemon juice, that will prevent them from turning brown while you get started on your pie crust. So our apples are sliced. The remaining ingredients are sugar, which I've got in this bowl, a little bit of flour, which is gonna thicken the apple juice and give it that nice syrupy texture, and just a little bit of cinnamon for that nice holiday spice that we all know and love. So I'm gonna mix these three ingredients together. So, so simple. And then just toss my apples into this dry mixture. And just toss it until the apples are completely coated in the dry mixture. And you'll already see it start to thicken and form a nice sauce. It's really so easy. That was pretty much it for the filling. Done. So now onto the pie crust. I'm just gonna clear some space and we'll roll up our pie crust. I think that's the hardest part about Thanksgiving is finding enough counter space. So here's my secret ingredient. It's store-bought pie crust. It's so easy. No one's ever gonna know. You can tell them you made it if you want. I've done that before. And basically, just lightly flour your surface and roll it out. The pie crust is pre-rolled, but you can roll it a little bit thinner just so that it fits into your pie pan. In culinary school, they always used to tell us, think of something angry when you're rolling pie crust. And I'm like, I'm making pie. I can't think of anything. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's good enough. It really doesn't have to be perfect. This is such a rustic recipe to begin with, so you don't have to worry about making anything perfect. So I'm just gonna transfer this over to my pie pan and fit it in, just like that. It's gonna fold, it's gonna rip, that's okay. And then I'm just gonna toss my apples right inside. And it already smells like apple pie, yum. When the apples cook, they'll shrink a little bit, so I always like to stuff my pie pan as high as possible. That'll give it that nice, impressive, whoa, quality when you set it down on the table. It's already beautiful, so easy. Now, what we're gonna do is a lattice top. So flour my surface, roll out the pie crust, add a little more flour so it doesn't stick, that's really important. Roll it out then. All you need is a pie crust cutter. I like the kind with little scalloped edges, makes it pretty. And just cut your pie crust into strips, maybe about three quarters of an inch wide. And again, nothing about this recipe has to be perfect. Once it bakes, it will look perfect. So there's not much thinking involved in this pie, which I like, because usually around the holidays, I'm just like overloaded. And okay, here's my easy no weave lattice top, check. So start with your biggest pieces, which will be in the center of your pie crust, and lay them across horizontally like this. Uh, just straight like this. Sometimes I do four, today I've got three. However many you come out with will be fine. And then you're gonna lay a second layer of pie crust strips on the diagonal, like this. You can see it looks like a beautiful lattice, but we actually didn't do any braiding or tucking and lifting, so that's why I love this trick. And I've got some extra, that's okay. 
So I just take the scraps, lay them along the side, and then what I like to do is kind of crimp the edges in a rustic fashion. You're essentially making a double crust part of the pie, which is that good, crispy, crunchy part, which is my favorite part of the pie. This is kind of like an accidentally vegan recipe because you don't really have to make any sort of substitutions. It's just delicious apples and ingredients turns into a beautiful vegan apple pie. So to make the whole pie sweet and crunchy, I like to do this one little extra step to make sure that the whole pie is really crispy and sweet and glistening. I just brush the top with a little bit of soy milk and sprinkle it with sugar. Don't be shy, the soy milk's gonna drip, it's fine. Just brush it everywhere with soy milk. The soy milk's gonna allow the sugar to adhere to the pie. So we're gonna sprinkle it with some sugar. Go for it, I'm serious, go for it. Just be generous with the sugar. My mom always taught me that you can't put too much sugar on the crust because it's just for the crust edges and it'll really give it that sweet crunch. If you wanted, you could stick this in the fridge overnight, bake it off the next day when your guests arrive, uh, but I'm gonna bake it now. We're gonna bake it at 375 for about 50 to 55 minutes until it's nice and golden on top. Here we go, we have a picture perfect pie and it was so easy. It looks delicious, it smells delicious. I can't wait to dig in. I love hearing that crackly crunch as I cut through the crust. And I see the bubbling juices, which looks so good. Mmm. You can smell that cinnamon apple deliciousness. The crispy, sweet crust mixed with the tart cinnamon apple filling. Mmm. If this is the first pie you've ever baked, congratulations. Be sure to check the recipe below and subscribe to The Hungry Channel. And check out all the different Thanksgiving recipes on The Hungry Channel too. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and enjoy your apple pie.